But as you see, we've added on a front extension on the transmission between the bell housing and the main case of the transmission. With that, we've added extra gears. So we have a 13 speed with a low reduction. So we have the 12 gears that we have today. And listen, this is really exciting. We have the 12 gears today. So we have from 11 to one ratio down to an overdrive of 0.78. So you can run your highway truck, run your construction truck in the heavy duty uh, on the highway, get the reduction, and, and still have your highway speed. What we found was when people go into a pit or on a job site, they were actually hearing their rear axle ratio a little bit lower so they could do the work on the job site. So how do we fix that? And that's where the 13 speed comes in. So now we've added a 17 to one bottom gear on this. So after you hit first gear, you go down to a, a smaller gear, which gives you a 17 to one ratio. Now I can work in the pit and still have my faster rear axle ratio, say a three, five, six or a three, seven, one, where I can go faster, get to my highway speeds, keep the RPMs down and get really good fuel economy, but still be able to do the work in my off-road situation. Uh, for the 14 speed, we actually added two lower gears. So you go down to uh, a crawler two and then down to a crawler one. Where uh, So you have one through 12, which are your normal gears that are working great for everybody today. And we've added on a 19 to one ratio for the crawler two. And then you can go down to a crawler one, which is a 32 to one ratio. So that brings you into your, your uh, curb pouring applications or your, your paving applications where you need to go at a walking speed at a half mile an hour or, or in that range and you're going slow offloading some kind of material and therefore you have to move around long slowly to take care of it so today we're we're not able to do that without being on the brake all the time which you don't want to be when you're doing that because after a while you overheat the clutch so to get the low gear we haven't been letting mixers uh, in those applications or to the end. We now open it up, we've actually changed the rules on the whole thing, where you can use the M drive in almost every construction application that's out there. So we've really broadened uh, the scope of our transmission. It has four rear, four reverse uh, ratios on it also. And we added in the gears in that front portion, we added additional reverse gears. So in operations where you're backing up, we have uh, three low speed and then a fast speed gear for reverse. Um, PTOs, we've, we've added some new capabilities for the bodybuilder module in the cab. Uh, we've taken that off of the transmission uh, and then it's either run by a vehicle ECU on the chassis or for the more complicated PTO situations, there's a bodybuilder module in the cab. And we've increased the bending torque for the PTOs. Uh, low reduction gear. So, as I said, uh, the low reduction gear. So for our job site, we added these to do the slow applications or to do the, the low gear applications you need when you're in the mud, when you're in a pit, when you're in, on soft ground where it's just been cleared for construction. But we also have, uh, we can use these on the highway side. We're looking at it where you have a heavy haul, you have a big load, you need to get it started. You have, a lot of times you'll use an 18 speed or a transmission with more steps in it. In order to get the load move started, you have to start off with the low gear and you slowly step up through. Well now with the low reductions, we can actually get those on a highway truck and get the heavier loads moving. Also, if you're moving around a tighter situation uh, uh, where you have to move a heavy load, you don't want to have it in a faster gear where you have to really stomp on the accelerator and get things moving because you're going to jerk it, you're going to get some rocking going. So if you have these low gears, you can actually move a heavy load around easily with the low gears and then still get up with the highway speeds with the uh, highway. Um, additional application, as I mentioned, curve forward saving. 